Hey guys, Tommy Drone here. This is the Unique Breeze. It's a really nice drone. It has uh, some really nice features. It's not perfect, but it is a very convenient drone. Very compact, very light and easy to take around. That's why I like it so much. However, the battery flight time is something that I'm wondering about. How much flight time do you really get with this thing? If you have the Breeze already, you may have already asked yourself that question too. It seems like you're flying it and five minutes later, the thing is out of power. It's like, geez, this is only five minutes or what? So I went ahead and I decided to do a test. So just how long can the Breeze really fly? Let's find out. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and do a series of tests. We'll go ahead and do four scenarios and that will be I'll fly it on a windy day staying still and then I'll fly it on a windy day moving it around as if I were, you know, t flying it in, in a normal way. And while doing that, I will also videotape for about five minutes. We'll see what the battery is. So let's go ahead and get started there. We'll fly it and I'm starting at zero. Uh, the battery is pretty much around 99, 97% there as you can see. Um, and we're flying it now. So right now it's just staying still. You can notice it's, it's actually doing a pretty good job. Uh, I've sped up the video here, but notice how it's fighting the wind. So that's important to note. It's fighting the wind. And the other thing is I'm going to stop it at 20%. Um, 20% I think if you go below 20% you're just looking for trouble and you're gonna hurt your batteries so uh, personally I usually fly to around 30% and that's my stop I'm gonna stop here at 20% all right so let's take a look and see how we did and we got eight minutes and eight eight point eight not bad eight minutes eight seconds not bad almost I guess you run up to eight minutes and uh, seven seconds all right so now that's with the drone staying still that's surprising it's better than I thought it was and it's a very windy day it was fighting the wind to stay in a position so it's not bad I think that's respectable so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fly it around and I'm just gonna fly it around like I would a normal day uh, here it's very windy too by the way the wind is definitely more than 10 miles per hour it might have been like 15 miles per hour I'm getting, some, getting some pretty good gusts here and I'm just flying it around uh, again I'm videotaping for about five minutes uh, so and I should also point out I also have um, the drone guards on this thing here too all right so I'm going to fly this around for a little bit and again I'm going to stop it when it hits 20 percent I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to hit it landing and uh, we'll go ahead and do that so uh, flying this around and we got it here at 20 percent let's see how it does eight minutes 13.74 not bad eight minutes so the time actually was better than when it was sitting still so I'm thinking the reason is because uh, before it was fighting the wind to stay in one position where here I'm letting it just go around and at some points it's probably flying with the wind all right so in both tests the uh, keeping it still and steady it flew for more than eight minutes and then when I was flying around, and we got a lot of wind here today, well over 10 miles per hour, maybe even 15 miles per hour, uh, the thing flew pretty well, and I still got eight minutes of flight time with recording of five minutes of video in there. So, uh, and that's with the uh, drone guards on there too as well. So I'm, I'm happy. Eight minutes, I'll take it. What do you think? So now we're going to go ahead and test it. It's a very calm evening. This is a different day here. And um, it's a very calm evening. You'll notice there's practically no breeze at all. And uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and fly it and we'll see how she does. She's just going to keep it still. And we'll keep it still in this position. And let's see how she does. Alrighty. So we're kind of okay, coming in for a landing there. Got to stop it at 20% there. And look at that. 9 minutes, 52 seconds, and 50. 9.52, not bad. I mean, I guess you're on up to nine minutes, uh, nine minutes and 53 seconds. That's what's staying still. That's what no breeze. And that's it stopping at around 20%. So that's pretty good. So now we're going to do the same thing. And this time I'm going to fly it with, again, no breeze. I'm just going to fly it around uh, as if it was, you know, just flying it like normal. You know, if I was looking at trees and checking things out. So I'm going to fly that around for a little bit. And uh, let's bring this bad boy in and see how that does. So again, I'm going to stop it at around 20%. And when it hits 20%, I'll bring it in. Alrighty. Let's see how she does. Look at that. 10 minutes, 18 seconds, and 42. Not bad at all. And that's with no breeze. So no breeze, 
and the drone flies really, really well. You get almost 10 full minutes, and that's with flying it all the way up to around 20%. So that's impressive. So if you've got the unique breeze and you're wondering how long the flight time is, there you go. Not bad at all. I'm impressed. I mean, that's pretty much what I got when I had my Parrot Bebop. Same kind of flight time. And this thing is far, far uh, lighter than that thing ever was. And also better, I think it probably a better flyer too. All right. Well, I'm Tommy Drone. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you think about buying a breeze, not a bad drone. I don't recommend paying the current full price though. I would say when it goes below $300, uh, that would be a good time to get it. All right. Take care. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.